welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and buckle, buckle your seatbelts because you're in for a ride today. See, it's funny I said buckle your seatbelts because I'm driving and I'm, you know, that's like a ride, but I also, you know, don't have my seatbelts on because I'm not setting a very good example. But also that's because my seatbelt, like the clicker part, is buried behind boxes of my things, my Nutucker's things. Because today is moving day. Because we're going to sign our lease. Like literally that's where we're, I'm driving to right now is to go sign our lease. Tucker's in like another vehicle. Um, but my car is loaded. And yeah, so as soon as we sign the lease, we get to move our stuff in and I'll do like a quick um, empty apartment tour because that seems fun. That seems classy, right? So I'm going to do that. And then um, after that, we're just going to start moving stuff in because we've got a lot to do today. It's not a lot of time. So it's going to be a crazy video, but keep watching to see how it turns out. Okay, we are here at the apartment Tucker left to go load up more stuff. My hair is a mess. We already loaded everything in, but there's only a few things like in place. I guess if that makes sense, I'm just gonna show you guys everything. So, we walk in, so there's two doors. This is a side door. The side door you walk in to the kitchen and we have the washer and dryer and our, uh, fridge with a freezer and it comes with a dishwasher which is nice cabinet there sink cabinet drawer our stove with some more cabinet and then you turn and right here we have two more cabinets There's two more and then if you come into here this is going to be our master bedroom i'm going to come stand in the corner it has all this, so uh, those are built in, ooh, those are built in, and those are built in. And then there's some cabinet up there, our clothes and TV and stuff. Then you walk into here, this is our living room. That is the front door. This is the bathroom. Cute little, very echoey, little bathroom. There's no place for a towel rack thing so we're gonna put something in there or something then you come over here this is the second bedroom we did put the vanity in here already just because we already had it loaded it's a closet for this one it's just like this we're gonna hang like my wedding dress and tux dress blues and that kind of stuff in here but it also has some built-in shelving as well so that's nice and then you come over here to the front door and has like a little cloak closet thing which has plenty of space top to bottom so it's cute cozy tech went to get some more stuff with his mom and my job is to start unpacking stuff and make room because they're bringing over some big stuff which we're going to be putting basically right where all of that crap is so that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay guys, so it's actually like almost an entire week later. Um, I kinda got a little just preoccupied and busy um, trying to unpack and get things taken care of. And today's my day off, so I figured I would just catch everybody up or catch, catch you guys up on where I'm at with unpacking and such. Um, we have a little AC going. I'm not, he's just like right there. Um, it's really hot. Um, our AC, like the central, what is that called? Central air or whatever. It doesn't really work. Um, so that's what we're using for now. But the only downside we found about living here is that we have an ant problem. So drop your ant problem solutions down below because I want to get rid of these suckers quick um so 
most of this is like the big things are unpacked but i did just bring over the last load of stuff from my mom's house which is where we were staying um so there is some stuff just kind of chilling also our trash is really full um but i'm just going to show you guys what i've done and what our plans like our next step is kind of for moving or like unpacking and stuff so yeah okay so right now this entire kitchen is kind of bombarded we're going to get like a little shelf thing to go right underneath here i had to like hang up my two my two little conversion charts for the kitchen i got these for christmas a few years ago last year i think actually but um we're gonna get like a little like bar type looking table thing that's not very um wide because it's gonna fit it's like that fits in between there and the wall um and we're gonna put it in here so that way we have some more storage because i mean as you can tell there's really just not a lot of storage in general um but yeah also totally side note um one of the gifts i got at the bridal shower are these monogrammed um silverware so we have forks but this this is a butter knife butter knives we even have spoons um big forks little forks big spoons little spoons and then like a few what is this like um oh i put them all the way back there that was stupid of me well i can't get them out at the moment but it's fine also another thing i got um well well i say i but some things we've got as wedding guests because i didn't get a chance to do like a what i got for my bridal shower video or anything like that um just because life is crazy um so i'm just gonna as i go through right now i'm just gonna show everything that we got for wedding gifts in general and then i'll specify if it was for the wedding or bridal shower and yeah I did get a toaster a four four slot toaster for um a wedding gift and then we also got this monogrammed cutting board for as a wedding gift we got this knife block which was off of our amazon registry and then over here we also got a second knife block but this one is like um it doesn't have like steak knives in it it's more of like for spe specific things um and this one is like it actually has like the steak knives to use for it and then my sister actually made us this it says reader recipes and then there's just a bunch of recipes and what she did since she's the one who planned like my entire bridal shower um she when she sent the invites she sent like recipe cards in with the invites and then they could either send them back with like the rsvp or just bring them to the bridal shower so that was really fun so um we got the reader recipes what else did we get in here oh we did get these pots and pans and there's another pot down there for a what as a wedding gift um the toaster oven like i um i showed that a minute ago we got we got that as a wedding gift as well and then we got over here in this little thing um as i said we don't have a lot of storage but so we got these are like the pioneer woman mixing bowls we got this three the set of three pyrex measuring cups and then back there behind there is some more um like um not like a cake pan but like a casserole pan like a few other things like that i think that's it for in here in the kitchen oh nope the cast iron skillets we got all of those plus that one that's sitting right there we used it yesterday oh and then i bought this little thing from walmart to hold our utensils but basically all of these utensils we got um some of them came in a set well actually it was like two separate sets but it still works for us what is and then we just go around everything there's nothing in the bedroom that we got as wedding gifts i don't believe but i am going to show how the process of unpacking has gone in here so we've got all of our clothes and like that stuff in here some stuff obviously still needs to be put away um and then we have to get some two by fours so we can put the bed on the bed frame which is what that is right there that's that's the bed frame then if we come out here into the living room oh this is like 
I just love the living room. It turned out so good. Okay, so this is obviously it's a mess, but we put we got a couch from Tucker's mom, and same with the that couch, and I don't remember what that's called, an ottoman, I think. Um, so we put those over there, and then um, I bought these two little end tables right there. And then my brother-in-law and sister-in-law gave us this TV stand um, that we put up here. That was a decoration from the wedding. This was supposed to be a decoration for the wedding, but I forgot it. This was a gift from my best friend Danielle. So shout out to her, we hung it over there. Then that's like the closet storage space that I showed before, but um, it's full of totes that we're not using. This is our Christmas tree, which we haven't found a place to put yet. And then, so we did the sand ceremony, and this is the sand from our sand ceremony. A picture of us, These, this little thing right here, this box has all of the letters from Tuck and I when he was gone, from us writing to each other. This was um, made during my bridal shower weekend. What we did is we went and like painted pottery and that was something that was made for me as well. This little bowl right there. And it's really it for in here. Oh, actually in here, you can't really see it because it's like not very big, but I did, we did get a Roku um, as a wedding bridal shower gift. I believe it was bridal shower gift. Um, and then this is also a mess because we weren't through all of Tuck's stuff, but we put the futon up um, and we started hanging up some of Tuck's things. And then this is not my wedding dress, but um, it is a formal dress, so I put it in here so that way it could hang. And we don't really have any storage stuff like really up there, like organized yet. But that's that. I don't really think... Oh, we did get a KitchenAid mixer in, right down there. Storage, very limited. But so we did get that um, as a wedding gift from my in-laws. So Tuck's mom and dad. And we got a lot more stuff, honestly. I just feel like it's all still like packed away. Oh, the bath. I love the bathroom. We got this brand new shower curtain. Let me just close it. Got this brand new shower curtain from Walmart. And it has matching um, soap dispenser and toothbrush holder. Um, and it came with like this thing, which is supposed to be for soap, but I put my I put our toothpaste on it. Um, let's see. There's not really a lot else that I can see at the moment. Um, but probably in another video. Once like things are like completely packed, I mean unpacked, um, I'll probably do like another like home tour kind of thing. But one thing I did forget to show is that we used this cabinet, which is right between the kitchen and the bedroom for storage for food. And then the bottom one has water and tea and goodies in there. So that's that. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I know it wasn't very Actually, I don't know how long this is at this point, but, um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot, as you can tell, I mean, quite obvious, I've been very busy, but I promise I'm going to just try, try to start posting a little bit more and, um, keep things moving along. I really enjoy posting on YouTube, but it's also very time consuming, and whereas I just got married, we just started, we just moved. Um, and I'm still unpacking. There's just a lot of other things that I need to prioritize doing. Um, yes. Comment down below what other kind of videos you guys want to see, though. Like, more, like, moving videos or, um, wedding-type videos. I do plan on doing a video of, like, what I would change about the wedding and, like, that kind of stuff or what I would do differently. So stay tuned for that coming, hopefully, possibly soon. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, turn on those post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one.